So here we are in the bath. I have soaked up Dory with my Prima bathing system and all that. But now she's been kind of relaxing with the shampoo doing its thing. And then I'm gonna fill my conditioner on the shower head. And we're gonna condition the baby girl girl. Yes. I gotta think of a better storage thing for some of this stuff, but it works. And she doesn't need a ton of conditioner. I just basically use that. In you go. I am using the eye groom 50 to 1 dilution shampoo. I think it's 50. I might be more like 60, but I don't know. I added enough to make it feel good, froth up. So I figure, give it a shot. What does this say? Yeah, dilute 16 to 1. It's highly concentrated. I'm going to call economic because the Prima cuts out a lot of your shampoo need. It's uh, quite nice that you can just add a little bit. So a 16 to 1, you probably treat it more like a 32 to 1. You know, something like that. So now we're going to let the water warm a bit. I don't want hot, but I want warm. And Dory is like, oh God, not this again. You crazy beast. Yes. And we're gonna rinse off the beautiful coat. These blue merles, they melt my heart. They melt my heart so much. Such a beautiful dog. So she has the black, the silver, the gray. That's why I call her Dory Poseidon, because she looks like sea foam. Baby girl. She's so cute. All right, done. And you are rinsed, my baby girl. Now, let me get my other favorite tool of the trade. The Absorber Tel. I get it at Pep Boys. You could get them at Amazon. Any of these like chamois, and I keep them just slightly damp in a bit of vinegar water and rinse it out really well. Wring them dry. Well, wring them. And fold them up and put them in the container. Keep them soft and ready to use. But you could let them dry. They'll get hard, and then you'll just have to rinse them. Wring them really well and use them to take a lot of the water off in the bath because this saves me about six or seven towels. I mean, some of these double-coated dogs I get, they're like sponges. You want to name one of my dogs SpongeBob because no matter what you do, he's going to retain water in that coat. Yes, he is. And you're similar, especially around your bootay and your legs. And she's going, leave my bootay out of it, dear. I'm a dignified woman. Yes, you are. Now we're going to ring. Ring. This is one Passover from the dog. I mean, come on, man. This is great. So now we can pull more water off. Yay. And she's like, really? Oh, you human, you meanie. You sadistic beast. And I am not a masochist. No, you're not, baby girl. I, I love her. She's so, so, so timid. 
She's been with me since 2015. She will always be terrified of strange places. So that mobile grooming van is going to not only be the, my new grooming salon. When I take her to the vet, we take her in the car in a crate. And then I pick her up and carry her into the exam room. And it's small and quiet. So then she's, look at this. She's all right. She uh, copes with the Dr. Cold hands and the exam shots. Very cool, doesn't lash out. But uh, she is ready to be back at home and laying in her little den in my room, under my desk. She sleeps under there. Leave me alone, you crazy beast. I don't want you bothering me. I know baby girl. I know baby girl. Oh, you're so cute. But you know what? You're gonna get through this and you're gonna be fine as you always are. Yes. It's always been a dream of mine since we These towels are great. One towel and she's already getting fluffy. So. And go like this. I also am listening to one of my grooming videos because it beats the heck out of network TV, sports, and news. Oh, baby girl. She's like, all right, this is enough, isn't it? Hey, human, get me out of here. No, I don't want to let you go ever, ever, ever. <laughs> She's already working her way out of the darn leash, so I'll let her. And I have a new thing to use on the grooming table, which I think she's going to like, and I think I will like a lot better. So I'll set that up and come back for the grooming table and the dryer. And she's going, oh, great. So we did sort of slow down that dry or fast up the drying a bit. It was a bit elderly, always taking forever, but I want to make sure they're dry. And uh, I'm not going to make the baby go around with that damn coat. Using the Arturo brush, super cool. It's long, so it'll get through her coat, her baby luscious coat. And I do call them all babies. I've raised from rescues, shelters. My one or three dogs that I have raised from puppyhood have all since gone to God. And now all I've got is my rescue babies. Yes. And she's like, aren't we done yet? Done human. Oh. But it's all right. She's very timid, but as yet has not lashed out or anything. She's a very sweet girl. <laughs> All right, so there's that. This. I know I normally do this at the bath, but I just figured a little bit isn't going to hurt now, and I'll wipe it out. Hopefully she'll shake that out. But if not, I have face of making it cleaner. Yes. Now for the pulse. Little baby. She needs her nails cut too. She just heard that and she's like, oh, wowzer, woo woo.
You ever hear of Schleprock on the Flintstones, the depressive guy he used to hang out with Pebbles and Bam Bam? Uh, he was what we would call depressive or just down, down, down. But every time he got something, like invited to a party or something with the kids, he'd be like, sure, oh, wowzer, wowzer, woo, woo. So I don't know how to describe Schleppers. He, he was wearing a black hoodie type cowl. And I guess for the Flintstones, it'd be like a goth, I don't know. They didn't have piercings and all that, though. It isn't like anybody's throwing their hands at me or insane. But uh, it was very cute. She reminds me of it, simply, mainly on the color and just her demeanor. are fine. It's her front paws that go straight to hell. And at least she doesn't have dew claws. some good hunks off her. Holy cow. I did not expect it to be that set up. Proliferative. Those are, okay, really those are the ones that turn into evil things. So, yeah. Right. Um, we'll play it your way. Come on. Thank you again for sending me this awesome one. Yeah. 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 I love you, but I need to do this. And I don't forget it. Yes, I will. Probably quicker because she won't stay. Awesome demos at the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, didn't get her. Oh, Alicia. Yeah. Oh, she did. 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 Yeah. Oh,
be. It does not say hypoallergenic. I know. And I did not. Huh, it's not bleeding. Oh, she is a little bit. So I get the skeptic. And I'll fix that. Ah, uh, see, those quicks are long, right? Because you got to let me trim. All right, let me get my skeptic. Cut and pick. really it could be a lot worse. I am digging out my new treat. We'll put these away. I don't want to shake her up. I have the Kinshi signature sapphire. But the finger hole dealy is a little bit big. It, it pushes out, you know, when I have to get my finger through it. Probably could try it again, but uh, I don't know. Let's try it out. Oh, the, as I use my ring finger, yeah, that's even pretty small for the actual shear. But there we go. All right. Let's see, that's uh, so pretty. All right, so now, see, I'm pushing my finger through is okay. That's good. Come on. Make this and get my little brush. Yes. So really, it is a kinder brush. It's not going to be taking big chunks. That was like six times across. But it's a very nice sheer. I'm actually more the type to want to do blending. That way it stops them from looking all choppy. I don't like using straight scissors or even curved, really. If I need to do that, I'll bring the comb, I'll lift the hair up, and clipper it. But uh, every time I get too close to a dog's eyes with uh, scissors, now we're talking a legally blind woman here. I'm not going to hurt her. So I don't play that rule. And since she is a pet, we're not staying to, you know, a uh, show groom or anything. It's just a tidy. Her left-handed uh, scissor. That I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's not that I'm not 
I don't want you sitting down yet. I don't want you sitting down yet. I don't want you sitting down yet. The baby Dory boy. Dory Poseidon with the fur. Uh, This one is about the only one I use a straight edge on. I'm gonna comb that down. I might even just use the blenders. Let me try that. Because I don't wanna make it look all clippy, choppy, crazy. But she does need just a little bit off. Okay. So that. There's the end of her tail. So I figure. I'm going to give another salute. I don't know if she's in the chat, but she'll be watching it on the replay. Yeah. I'm going to give a salute to Erica because she's doing it. She did it. She said, hey, I'm doing it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get my certification. I'm going to get my band. I'm going to get my class to go to the room to all. And she can't wait. And, I'm and it may not that. be super, I'm super, super good. even. But with the blender, it is not bad at all. Uh, and like I said, she's a pet. We're not hitting the show ring. But at least she's clean. She's tidy. And I just cut away what ain't supposed to be there. I know, Dory, you're going to get a treat when we get out of here. I know. Because you are a sweetheart. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Uh, my baby girl. And home the leather. I don't need to take a lot off because she's not bad. She's actually pretty good. Some of them like poodles and big shots like that. That could be a different thing. I know, baby girl. Oh, I love them. They're so pretty and they work nice. Nicely, definitely. I'm going to spray a little uh, blade care stuff on those, at least, and just wipe it off a little, kind of disinfect. Yeah, she needed that. She needed that. She doesn't like it. I don't blame you, baby. I wouldn't like it either. But I'm not going to use Q-tips because that's too dangerous. Uh, the ear canal does not go straight through that. It actually goes in a little and down there. So if you start using Q-tips and jamming things in their ears, uh, this can actually cause a pretty serious injury. So don't muck with that. I use my fingertip and either gauze or a white paper towel. And then when that's done, I get the part B of my ear kit, AutiCare B. This is a drying lotion. So when you're going to put this into the dog's ears, you normally don't need enough, you know, a lot. So I'm going to squeeze. Thank you. I'm not going to squeeze a ton in there because what'll happen is it's going to dry very nicely. And if you see a powder thing in your dog's ear after using it, then you're using it up. If you're seeing a little powder residue in the ear, you're adding enough. If you don't, then maybe you're not adding enough. Take it from me, I got that the hard way. I was only putting a tiny, tiny bit, and Dory had an ear infection. So the vet told me, when you see a powdery like residue, you're using up. You don't see that, then maybe you could use some more. Right? So Dory, you're not gonna get picked on anymore. 
So this is pretty much all she needs. I'll probably brush a little bit around her neck. But I got her nails done and she put up with all my garbage. Chris Christian saying I get around here with the base of the ears like that. And brush a little bit over the top. A little bit on the top of the head, but I don't use this a lot just for the delicate areas, yes. We want to make sure that her lady, Dory Poseidon, is not forced into a state of discomfort. No, never. Never. And she's like, let me go, you dumb creature. I want a hamburger. You're going to get a treat, but it isn't going to be any burger, baby. So that is the dory. You saw the bathe at the beginning. Then I cut the drying one a bit in half because that was just getting a little redonkulous. Yes, I know. With the girls, I don't really do a lot of the around the private area because they don't need it. You know, unless it's uh, a really shaggy puppy. All right, so here we go. Dory girl. I'm going to go off and give her a nice treat of grilled chicken. Thanks for watching.